Hey friend, how are you? Happy Thursday. Hope you're enjoying the weather. If you live in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, if you don't know me, I'm good time Tommy, Tommy Davidson, local real estate expert right here in Murfreesboro. Thank you for watching this. Today's, uh, today's quick tip or quick minute is when, when will more people start to put their homes on the market whenever the Fed started uh, raising their rates, the inflation was out of control and they had to find a way to slow down the housing market. And um, I think the Fed thought, or most experts would say, we've got to correct a 53%. That's what it was in our market. I'm just paraphrasing what the Fed would say. But in our market, there was a 53% price appreciation during those COVID years, 2020, 21 through 22, 53%. Usually, our uh, uh, homes appreciated about 4%, 5%, sometimes 3 3 to 5 It's a little bit above normal inflation, which the Fed wants to be at 2%. So they thought what we're going to have to do to destruct those prices to make it more affordable is if we raise these rates, it would drive prices down. Guess what happened? Whenever builders saw this, Builders, they put on the brakes. So most of the local builders around here, they have stopped building Old South Properties, who was building close to a 1,000 homes a year. Their forecast went to almost a third of that. So household formations is what's really going to put um, product on, uh, on the ground for people to buy. And a household formation happens whenever somebody builds a new house, somebody moves out of their parents' house, and they move into the new house that was a one household formation that was created but here's what's going on why would people sell their current house if they've got a rate a mortgage rate between three and four percent if you're going to have to pay six and a half percent most people just aren't going to do that so what has happened looking at the last stats our uh, our inventory is dipped back below 800 homes in our marketplace. We're still selling over 500 homes a month. It's only taken about two months to sell all the homes on our uh, on our uh, current MLS if no new homes come on come on there. So it's still <clears throat> it's still going to cause some appreciation, not at the rate that it was, but anytime anytime you're less than uh, three per or three months of uh, supply of homes. It's, it's probably going to have appreciation in there because it's still a seller's market. So when do I think we'll start to see more homes? If we're at 800 homes right now, we really need almost four months of supply. So let's say if we're selling 500 homes, we really need 1,600 to 2,000 homes on the market. If not, here's what's going to happen. If builders don't start back building and if more people don't put their homes on the market, when rates do come back down, you're going to see this crazy appreciation again. It's 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 going to become a very scary problem. Not now, not next year, but sooner or later, it will catch up. It might be like three or four years from now if rates ever drop back down to under five, which I do think rates will be back in the low to mid, the lower fives by the end of the end of the summer, going into the fall. What it's doing because there's not enough to, uh, there's not enough supply out there. The demand is going to outpace it, and what you're going to see is home prices going through the roof. If you look throughout time, home prices far outpace wages. It's going to continue. So right now, great time to buy a house. Thank you. Have a great day.